Hello, how are you doing? This is a runway reference check for RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world. What a snappy title that is. Let's go. I'm a winner, baby. First up, lemon. Look at the lemons on that. <laughs> Tonight's story, the princess and the deep. <laughs> well, lemon's not bitter, but she's definitely a tart. <laughs> <laughs> so this could be a pun about a lemon tart, but it is not. It's a pun about the tastes, bitter and tart. Tart is a weird one, like, Rhubarb is tart. That thing. Anyway, the play here is about tart being like a promiscuous woman. In the 1800s, tart was used to mean a pretty woman, short probably, for a sweetheart. So by the end of that century, it had come to mean like a sex worker or promiscuous woman. Monique Hart. How green is her valley? A story about a hard-working family in a Welsh valley during Victorian times. Janie Jacquet. Copper feel of that. Yes. <laughs> So the phrase to cop a feel started in the 1930s, meaning, you know, to feel someone up, basically. But why cop a feel? Well, the word cop is an old English word meaning to take hold of or to seize. And from that original meaning also comes the word cop or coppers, meaning the police, because they would seize people. I can see her Netherlands. This is a gag on nether regions, meaning the down below bits, because that's what nether means. So that's where the word Netherlands comes from, the lowlands. That makes sense. But what is the relationship between the Netherlands, Holland and the Dutch? So Dutch goes back to a word that meant of the people, Deutsch, which is why Germany is called Deutschland, land of the people. Basically, the English used to refer to people who lived in nowadays Netherlands and Germany as Dutch people. Over time, they just started calling people from Germany Germans, but the Dutch bit stuck for whatever reason for people from the Netherlands. People from the Netherlands don't call themselves Dutch, they call themselves Netherlanders. Now, Holland means woodland, and it refers to two provinces within the Netherlands, it's not the Netherlands. Holland for that country is just wrong. Dutch the skin. Yeah. Dutch all of this skin. Dutch all of this skin. <laughs> yeah. Touch this skin, darling. Touch this skin, honey. Touch all of this skin. Bag of chips. Mmm, oven ready. I am becoming an Oscar. There's no definitive answer on why the Academy Award has been nicknamed an Oscar. A few people have laid claim to it, but one of the more popular takes is that in the 1930s, Margaret Herrick, who was the Academy's librarian, remarked that the statue looked like her Uncle Oscar, and that nickname stuck. Joan of Lark. Joan was a French heroine from the 1400s who led an army against the English in the 100 Years War. She said that she was acting under instructions from God. She was later captured and burned at the stake. That's where I left my Brit Award. <laughs> Jimbo. Next time you clean the chimney, open the flue. <laughs> <laughs> My wrists look fat in this. <laughs> Does my bum look big in this? Cheryl Hall. Bra by Galaxy. <laughs> now this, I have no idea on this one. There is a chocolate bar called Galaxy in the UK. I don't know. Um, so if you know, please let me know below. I'm giving this dress two stars. <laughs> Juju beat. Juju beat it. <laughs> now the subtitles has beat it as in Michael Jackson's but I think as well it could be beat it or beaded as in the gown is beaded eggplant emoji got a makeover uh -huh. <laughs> ah, the eggplant now this began being used as a euphemism for a penis on Twitter in 2011 but I want to talk about why it's called an eggplant because in Europe we call it an aubergine a French word aubergine in America eggplant. It's because the aubergines that went over to America first were white and looked like eggs. And I'm just giving you Merlot lips. Merlot, you better go. <laughs> She'll be Malbec. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lady Shabley. The Lady Shabley was a trans woman who appeared in the non-fiction book and the film Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Up next, Angina Hills. She's giving it as an Eiffel. Get it, Tao. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, my telly's got channels it didn't have before. <laughs> Blue hydrangea. Trolls aren't just online anymore. No, they are not. Blue's hair looks like a troll doll, which became incredibly popular during the 90s. Now, trolls, as you know, are part of Scandinavian folklore. But why internet trolls? Well, it could go back to the 1970s when the military used the word a troll or trolling for 
a decoy that was meant to distract the enemy and lead them astray. And then in the late 80s, early 90s, a troll or trolling began being used as somebody who would originally playfully try to disrupt or distract a group discussion in forums. She's using her platforms for good. <laughs> <laughs> Platform shoes. They were very popular with women and men in the 1970s, but they pop up all over the place in history in some form or another. One previous incarnation was in Venice in the 1400s when they were warned to avoid flooding. Those are the runway references. Please let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions on the episode, on the references, on life in the comments below. Please do subscribe for more videos. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at the Rory John. And thank you again to my members for supporting the channel because um, it really helps me out, keeps me going. Uh, thank you all. Bye.